Hello and welcome. Now in my last Sega Saturn Revisited video I played X-Men Children of the Atom which was hard as nails as a single player game and here we're going to play Fighting Vipers. Um, if the Elgado stops being homo. Um, right so here we're treated to a little bit of an intro that looks really bad quality. So we're going to skip that and yeah, Fighting Vipers, what is it to say? Um, it's kind of very similar in a way to Virtua Fighter um, except if you compare this game to Virtua Fighter 2, um, Virtua Fighter 2 is supposed to run at 60 frames a second, this runs at uh, like 25 or 30 so it's, it's not as smooth. Um, we go arcade mode and there's no as you would have seen there there's no difficulty um, setting in the options menu so maybe there just isn't a difficulty setting uh, kind of weird um, yeah so really the the best game to pick up if you if you're into your virtual fighter and uh, fighting vipers and all that stuff, games on the side is uh, Fighters Mega Mix. Um, that's definitely a must-have game for the system. Um, that's basically Virtua Fighter and Fighting Vipers characters with with a few other kind of random uh, Sega characters thrown in there. For some reason, I don't know if it's just the character that I've selected, but the game doesn't feel um, very responsive. I feel like there's a bit of delay. I might just be uh, needing to adjust to it here. Apart from said lack of response, um, it's a nice looking game. Uh, we all know that. The 32-bit 3D era wasn't really a good time for 3D graphics and they probably should have just not made 3D games at this point but as far as the, what, what we'll call it, the genre of 32-bit 3D games I guess, um, as far as the genre goes it's not a, not a bad looking one. Um, kind of annoying that I can't select a different character from that, but we're just gonna do a bit of spamming, I think. <sighs> the stage seems to have some uh, nice kind of rotating effects, panning in and out and all that stuff. And we're doing a lot better this time, so I think it probably just took me a bit of time to adjust to playing a 3D fighting game after sampling the hard as nails delights of X-Men Children of the Atom. This game's not too expensive to pick up but then it's you're certainly not going to find it for a couple of quid. Um, I'd, I'd expect to probably pay about eight quid for this one to be honest. My copy is pretty damn mint. It's got the manual and uh, and a registration card and all that stuff with it as well. And it says on the case that it was Game of the Month. Sega Saturn Magazine's Game of the Month or whatever. I'm just kind of digging for the box here. Uh, yeah, Sega Saturn Magazine Game of the Month. Um, and it's got a price sticker on it of $44.99. And I think, to be honest, I remember when this um, game came out and it was a slow, a slow month for Saturn games to be honest, so that would have been why it was game of the month. But remember it being a sort of 85 out of 100 game, so it's still a solid fighter. And where it differs from Virtual Fighter is, as you can see, we're playing in sort of a caged arena, and you can see that our character here has lost some clothing because 
As the battles go on, you um, you lose armor, and it's kind of a, a neat little novelty. I'm gonna game over it there and pick a different character because I'm not having too much luck with Picky at the moment. Feels like there's a pun in there somewhere, but I don't know. So we're gonna go with arcade mode again and pick a different character. We'll go Barn. I don't know why we'll go Barn, just because he's the first man you can pick. They like playing as female characters in computer games. Cause I'm a man. Yeah, the the button um, button layout's a bit different as well, but it's a virtual fight. I should, I should have. It's been a hard long day. Excuse my gibberish. So this guy seems to deal a lot more. Um, damage out and pick you off, which is a, a bonus, and we win that round. Throwing the opponent against the uh, kind of fencing, what would, would you call it, a cage? More like prison bars. I guess it is a cage. Is it a cage that's not got a roof? Did they have roofs on the cages in wrestling? I don't know and it's all fucking irrelevant anyway. And it's nice that when you get knocked into the air you can kind of land on your feet and press a certain attack button and that it sorts that shit out for you. Would like to play like would well I would like to have uh, an NTSC system or a modified Saturn, I'll do as well. Um, and play the NTSC versions of games like this just to see if they are more responsive because people forget that you spoil nowadays because everybody sort of gets the same frame rate now that most TVs can handle 60 hertz, especially obviously with HDMI. Um, whereas back in the, the early days of PAL, um, we got borders, we got slower frame rates, um, and they just didn't give a shit about our games to be honest, we just got a really bad version of the 32-bit games. I remember like, if you had a... Um, like a chip system or an import system, like a PAL TV um, would display the game in black and white and you had to buy like adapters to get your TV to um, display the games in colour and all that stuff. It, it was it was a bad time. The dark days of gaming. We might actually beat this guy. So it's like the 10th, 10th, 10th attempt. I think it's about 5th attempt. And we get perfect against him. Very fucking nice. And now we're gonna smash Grace's fucking face in. Good, because she looks like a cunt. Action begin. I've got skates on and I look like I'm out the 80s. To be fair, every character in this game looks like they come straight out the 80s. Crazy Jack game design. They think this is what all of us Westerners want. Yeah, smash a pussy against that fence is what I want. Alright. I'm not one for watching replays in uh, any sort of game really. So I always skip shit like that. Yeah. A bit of a dramatized, over drama, 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 dramatization. <sighs> God, that's a traumatization on the ears. Is that even a word? Anyway, she's got her titties out now. Just need to knock them skates off of her and then hit that pussy. Then 
I'm not sure who Pat is. All right, I win. I'm the best. Why has this guy got like a weird beak for a nose? Bizarre. I don't even want to know, to be honest. Round one. Let the action, Let the action begin. begin. Go. Yeah, I don't know why the woman announcer like says that like ak and shin are two like different words. Strange. But suddenly this guy's grown a set of balls. He could have grown a set of fucking balls when I was playing as a little cunt. Actually looks like a girl to be honest. Shit character really. Just looks like a character that should be good but just isn't. Nice rock music. The UFO guy. Rocking out in the car park. Interesting that you would have a, a fight in a car park at night with a cage. And there's no damn crowd. Where's the crowd at? The crowd of drunks. Just whooping some batty boy ass here. Skater grab. His fucking teeth knocked out. And I win. Yeah, look at that. Boom, I did this on the floor. Kicking your jaw. That's how I roll. Time to pick me a burger up down you a full diner. Is it me or does the loading screen look like Sports Direct? Round one. Let the action be Sports Direct logo. What a cut to the company. <laughs> Yeah, I like this music. Nice! Perfect, bitch! How do I get gangster? I did say I don't watch replays, but sometimes I just can't help myself. I'm just too brutal. Oh, come on. You want a beef? Slice that shit up. Put some chips with it. I won't bother cooking it, you can have raw beef and chips. Down knock your teeth out. Fuck the beef. Give me the money and your teeth. Your mama gonna be buying a reef. My name ain't Keith. Yeah, I mean, oh, you got knocked the fuck out. Um, yeah, Virtual Fight was more about the, the quick sort of snappy combos and all that stuff. This game's more about kind of heavier moves and it's not quite as quite as tactical a battle. It's a bit more of a, a bottom and mashers game, to be honest. Virtual Fighter can seem pretty uh, pretty basic to newbies. Ooh, what beef? Oh come on. Oh me like that. Yeah, this guy's kind of a weird character because he's got a bit of a bowling thing going on, but why is he fucking dressed like that? Oh, what the fuck? Why is it called Sandman? Why not Sandman? Put a D in there, make it kind of start to make sense. And we fucked his ass up. So we've now warmed into the game. We're beating people on stage five. Right. Is that my mad dog McCree in the background? Wants me to pull my pistol out and blow his wig clean back. Who knows? Ooh, we have kind of them walls that they have around building sites now. And we can't really see the backdrop. Time to rip her panties off and rip her a new fucking pussy hole. Right, so. 
Yeah, knock her out. You're on the floor, rape that bitch. Nice. Hit that. Quit that. So yeah, Barn's got some naff kicks on him, yeah? Let's have that mental fucking... What the fuck? Oh, come on. She wants, she wants her ass on the end of my dick, clearly. My taste is like candy. So knock me out. My taste is like candy. That knock the fuck out. winning so um, yeah fighting vipers for the Sega Saturn uh, definitely one to pick up if you're into your classic um, Sega arcade games um, Virtua Fighter Virtua Fighter Virtua Fighter <laughs> pretty much uh, yeah I suppose you do have the kind of die hard um, arcade games as well. Yes, you can you say if you like them games, pick this one up. Um, what else is it to say? If you like, uh, yeah, if you like the Dead or Alive games as well, I know they're obviously they're, they're a weird one. They're not Sega arcade games, but they do have a. Well, they used to have kind of an, some sort of affinity with Sega, um, and you actually have Virtua Fighter characters, a couple of them in, in the Dead or Alive games that are being released today, like um, Dead or Alive 5 has got a couple of characters in, so there's, there's definitely a relationship there. So yeah, it's uh, another great kind of game that you can only pick up for the, the Saturn unless you want to buy a whole Fighting Vipers arcade machine. You could emulate it but emulator, emulating emulators is the devil. Work of the devil. I will just keep kicking him while he's on the floor because he's too stupid to like block that shit or something. Oh he just kicked me clean off that bitch and he beat me and now I'm falling whilst kind of standing up. So yeah, there you have it, Fighting Vipers for the Sega Saturn. Another excellent Saturn game. One you should have in your collection. Um, but probably get Fighters Megamix and Virtua Fighter 2 first.